wherever he went, he was going to skip his senior year. He doubled up his classes. He graduated with a 3.4, 3, 3.5 GPA. He's, he's really bright as well. And so he was going to physically take on this challenge regardless. And the interesting thing about that is when you look at him, first glance is you don't think that there's any real risk involved because physically he looks like a pro already. Right. I mean, dude is built. And so not just like, obviously you watch him play a little bit, you watch him scrimmage or work out. You can see the explosiveness. You can see all, all that stuff, which sometimes hard to gauge unless you see him in an environment against real competition. Right. And, but you know, look, I, I saw him work out with his shirt off and <laughs> you just look at him. I'm like, holy crap. He's built like an NBA player, his torso, his chest, his shoulders, his upper arms. He looks like he's already there. So, um, whether that was just his training regimen or some of it just came naturally, he was ready for this, Chad, in a way that probably a lot of 17-year-olds and maybe even 18-year-olds are not. And so I think physically probably he, his family, his his circle probably had no concerns about whether he could hold up physically. I think the things that you always wonder about with kids at that age is, well, are they mature enough? Are they dedicated to the game enough? Are they skilled enough? Um, Level-headed, just all the other aspects of it psychologically and mentally, um, emotionally ready but that part of it was one of the first things that i could like check off as i'm you know of my curiosities as i'm talking to him and his family scoot is so just mature beyond his years like he's a little kid at heart in a lot of ways like he doesn't have his driver's license and doesn't care to doesn't want to drive he's he's perfectly fine not driving he loves playing video games and reading when he's not playing basketball and otherwise all he cares about is basketball but in terms of the way he carries himself and his uh, also just his dedication right like how many 17 year olds are fully committed to anything other than maybe the video games and driving and you know girls and whatever uh scoot is solely committed to basketball and in that regard and i know like it's i i do not invoke this name lightly but it's it's kobe like and kobe is one of his idols um kobe knew exactly what he wanted from an early age and was completely dedicated to it and consumed by it Scoot strikes me as that. Maybe not to that level, and, and almost nobody I've ever met in this in this game in 24 years is to that level. That's very, very few. But Scoot loves the game, and that's that is his his his, his sole focus. And I think because of that, that's what gives him a chance to succeed. Aside from the physical gifts and the talent that he clearly has, his dedication and, and like complete commitment, I think, is what gives him the chance to make this two league G League ignite um you know saga work for him and become what, what, what we're all expecting which is one of the top picks in the 2023 draft thanks it nice outlet oh picked off by scoop henderson rising to the rim during media day just about his experience in the g league bubble and playing guys day after day after day and oh so Jefferson misses the free throw. Nice rebound there by Henderson. He's looking to push a 17-year-old. Nice pass to Bochamp and the finish. Henderson using the Foster pick. Marjon Bochamp. Who he put on Scoot Henderson last possession was pretty special. Well, it's not only in nice again by Scoot Henderson. The Ignite, I'm very angry about that possession, defensive possession. Anderson monitoring is Moses Moody only with six minutes so far and yeah. those 15 points for him in this game gives the DJ Stewart balls knocked away by Henderson watch out watch there and they've been fun to watch here in Stockton Henderson jumper on the way it's good that looks attacking great. Foster when he can Kaminga 10 points and five rebounds Henderson on the pull up that is good for Eight Jetter comes up with it under three minutes to go it's a nine point game Henderson in transition and he jams it again Scoot trying to show off the handles gets the basket but fires it to the corner it's Allen for three Henderson exploding oh to the rim goodness minutes and in overtime. Nice pass to Henderson. Terrell got a piece of it, but Henderson stayed. With nice defense there by Henderson. He plays physical. Here's Pooh Jenner going the other way. The veteran gives to Henderson. And a nice finish by the 17 year old. That's defense. Drive and dish corner three. Dyson Daniel. And on top. Shot clock off. Henderson with the drive. Henderson with the jumper. Henderson, it's good. Govan unable to convert it. 
Ignite looking to push the pace to Henderson. Look out! Scoot Henderson. 12 players from the, at the time, Pac-10, were selected in the 2000. Graves, three. That's short. Scoot Henderson just coming into the game with a great outlet to Daniels, who puts it up and in. He's been great in some of these moments, Deuce, where you really need a bucket, and DJ Stewart finds a way. And Scoot Henderson finding For a way. some reason, the E came out, even, you know? <laughs> There's Shooty Babbitt, I know. Oh. I want to broadcast. Stockton was outscored in the third quarter, 22 to 15. And what a nice finish there by Henderson. He does. Looking for a step back on the way. It's good! Scoot Henderson. Under two to go in the third. It's your boy, Scooty. I mean, that's Pullman loses it. Allen comes up with it. Jetter to Henderson. He puts it in. And just take care of the ball on the offensive end. But I've been saying that since the third quarter. So what are you going to change? And go, Van. Henderson. Oh, oh Scooty. Playing well the last few games. Henderson attacking again. Rises up and jams it home. Dyson Daniels going to post up Foster. Beats the cutting scoop. Henderson. Back dribble. Knocked away by Murky. Henderson gets it back, though. He stays with it. He drives, puts it up, and in. Scoot Henderson. And here comes Murphy for Henderson for the tie. Oh, my. 